three, two, one. Thank you. Hello and welcome to this tutorial for Auto Arp. In this video, we'll explore using Auto Arp for triggering drums and percussion. When you think of arpeggiators, percussion may not be your first thought. But remember, Auto Arp is more than just an arpeggiator. It's a music assistant. And everyone, except maybe your neighbors at 3 in the morning, knows that drums are part of music. The Kong drum designer replicates a 16-pad drum controller and can be played by clicking on the pads. Each pad is also mapped to a note, as you can see while I play the on-screen keyboard. Because Auto Arp triggers notes, we can combine the two to play Kong in some very interesting ways. Let's add an Auto Arp to our track. Now press Tab so we can connect it. I'm going to first connect it to this NNXT with a piano patch so we can hear the output to illustrate how this works. Now we're going to set the root note C to play the full scale so that every note from the scale is in the pattern. Root note C is already selected, so we'll change the chord select for C to scale. Let's hear how that sounds. C is usually mapped to a kick drum, and now we want our kick to hit every four beats, so we're going to use the repeat note function to add a repeating C note. Let's first set the frequency of our repeat note to four. By default, our repeat note restarts the arpeggio pattern, but we want the full pattern to play. So let's turn off the repeat note restart, first by selecting Restart Arp, and then setting it to off. Now we get all the notes with a repeating C for our kick. With a familiar piano sound, you've heard our basic pattern, so now we'll switch to our drums. Hit Tab, and let's reconnect Auto Arp to the sequencer controls of Kong. Tab again to get back to the front, and let's give it a listen. Cool, but the pattern is a little too predictable. Let's change the play direction of our ARP to random. That's better. Chaotic, but we're experimenting. Let's add a little bit of familiarity with a hi-hat. Tab to the back, and connect sequencer step to pad 3's gate in. The hi-hat is now triggered to each step of the sequencer. Nice. Let's start the pattern off with a bang by setting the first step in the sequencer to output the current chord, which in this case is the entire scale. Step 1 is already selected, so let's change its type to C chord, which stands for current chord. Okay, what's cool about this setup is that it'll be a different pattern depending on our scale. Change the scale to blues to C. Or try Lydian Major. Each scale you try will result in different sets of notes to work from, generating a unique pattern for our random play direction to work within. Don't forget you can play with the timing, triplet eighth notes with a little shuffle for example. Don't forget to try different kits. And you don't just have to play C.
Hopefully, you can see the potential. Experiment, have fun, and make music.